Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm back with a new layout for the Paige Evans design team and I'm going to be using the Horizon collection today. And I pulled out a couple things that I have not used yet. This beautiful colorful globe pattern paper and the washi tape. I have not used the washi tape yet and so I'm going to challenge myself to use it today. And this is going to be another circle layout. I've been on a circle kick lately and this is a one and a half inch a circle punch and it's the perfect size to punch out these globes so I'm gonna make circles out of those but first I'm gonna work on the washi tape and this is just one way that you can use several washi tapes on one layout um, you know the possibilities are endless uh, I haven't used washi tape in a while I go through stages where I use it a lot and then I forget about it but um, I want to use all of these rolls and what I want to do is cover a lot of this white textured cardstock with strips of washi tape and then I'm going to punch circles out of it. And so they're going to be circles with all kinds of colors and patterns and I'm not necessarily going for the literal design of what's on the washi tape like there's the second one there is bicycles and my picture that I'm going to use or the theme of this page has nothing to do with bicycles but I'm okay with that I like the way it looks mixed in with all of these other washi tapes and so I'm mainly going for just the design look of it and the colors and just the different patterns on it and so uh, this one here has got little butterflies and moths and dragonflies there's that really pretty ombre pink one the scalloped one the uh, different shades of blue and white tiles um, there's even a metallic gold one so I've got a lot of this covered I'm gonna trim off some of the messy edges there and then all I'm gonna do is punch circles out of it and somehow arrange those on a background and I'm not even quite sure how I'm gonna do that yet I just went on a punching kick and you can see here how each one of them is a little bit different and uh, you could even use the piece that I just trimmed off there that's got all the circles punched out of it that would make a cool design element also so I'm gonna go through and punch out some of the globes that match some of the colors in the washi tape here and I don't wind up using all of these but I do want to incorporate that deep purpley pink color the different shades of blue and that lime green because I uh, just think that's a pretty color scheme so here's everything kind of put together I just kind of laid all the circles out and trying to figure out how I want to arrange them and I'm gonna use these two pattern papers here I, I didn't want to use white as a background again I wanted to challenge myself to use a colored background and here's my photo you're probably thinking what is that girl doing that is my youngest child and she is obsessed with throwing things into our pool and you know me I have a ton of pool photos and she would grab leaves and sticks and mulch and just continuously hurl it into the pool and so we were constantly cleaning it out so we wised up and got her a little ice chest full of ice and so she tosses ice into the pool now and when she does it she does it all dramatic like you can see her hands there she does this little thing with her hands like ta-da it's so funny I have to I have so many pictures of her doing this kind of thing but anyway what I'm doing on the layout is I'm going to use this paper as my background here now it kind of reminds me of a white background even though it's not it's it still makes a really good light background that's good for mixed media and I'm going to use those two pattern papers that I tore as layers at the top and then what I'm doing now is I'm going to add some mixed media to this part of the background and I first started with some distress oxides here uh, I'm trying to pull in that deep purpley pink color and I immediately thought of my distress oxides in that seedless preserves color because it's the perfect match but you know me I like to mix and match products so I pulled out some shimmer sprays that I have on my desk there that I go to quite frequently and I'm gonna use the packaging technique I'm gonna spray water on it I just want this nice pretty deep pink watercolor splotchy look kind of coming out underneath that periwinkle paper and the lime green paper and I just tore those and layered them I love doing this I think I've created a couple of layouts recently with pattern paper up at the top I just love that and 
if you see how she's arranged in the photo, she is looking and everything that she's doing is going toward the left. So I immediately knew right away I was going to put my photo on the right. So it's going to look like she's hurling something across the page. And all these circles were pretty cool. And I thought, well, maybe I could arrange the circles to where it looks like she's throwing circles across the page. And I go back and forth for a while trying to figure out how I want to arrange these circles. They, they give me grief for a while because... I could not figure out what to actually do with them now that I have them all punched out. So whenever I get frustrated like that, I just, yeah, I got some ink on my photo. That's way to go. Not paying attention. Oh, well, I'm still going to use it. Um, when I get frustrated with one thing, I just kind of move on to something else. And so I went back to adding more pink to my background. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue the papers together up at the top and attach those to the background. And I like tearing my papers because I just I like uneven edges on certain things. I like to kind of roll the edges up there where you can kind of see the underside of the paper. Okay, here's where I start to just experiment with the circles. I thought it would be kind of cool if I made like some circle banners kind of hanging down on the bottom half of the page. So I work on that for a while. I just mix and match the washi tape circles with the globe circles that I punched out. And I like that look. I just could not get them to hang the right way. They looked kind of straight and I couldn't get them arched the right way. So I took a break. And what do I do when I take a break and get frustrated? I go back to my background. I thought, okay, circles, I'm going to worry about you later. So now I'm going to add splatters. I pulled out some colors. Um, that's not black. That's navy blue. I know when I first started splattering that, I was thinking, eee, that's too dark. But there are some of that, that dark, uh, or there is some of that dark blue in some of the circles. So I kind of mixed and matched a navy blue spray with a different shade of blue. And then this is a periwinkle color called frostbite. And then I have a lime green color. I think I have all the shimmers colors you could imagine from collecting them over the years. And so, um, yeah, I have pretty much every color that I need to match this collection. So... I just decided to do some splattering. Okay, I'm going to try to do the banners again. So I thought maybe if I draw a light line in the exact arc that I want, I can get these circles exactly where I want them. So we're going to try this again. And um, yeah, you know, I, I sometimes, I don't want my videos to be too long, but sometimes I want to leave in the parts like this because you can see the different ideas that I try and you can see the ideas that don't work. I took another break and got ticked off because I couldn't get it to work. So off camera I started playing around with it again and I like this a lot better. It's definitely not a banner by any means and I thought what if I just kind of made some uneven rows of the circles under the photo and then kind of did a small little cluster of circles in the upper left and I kind of played around with that idea and I liked it. So I thought let's go with it. So I'm going to glue all those down. I let that dry and then I stitched through each row of circles with metallic gold thread. And I love how that looks. Now I'm on a roll. Now I've got my background pretty much finished and now it's just going to be building everything else around it. So this is a case of this layout turned out totally different than I had it in my mind. This was definitely not what I was thinking when I made those circles but you know what that's the beauty of this this whole process is it just changes as it goes so what you saw me doing there was i fussy cut the white edges off of one of the floral die cuts from horizon and i'm adding in some chipboard stickers now i'm going to use that hot pink one that's got the really bright green leaves i'm going to use that little potted plant over to the right and then i'm going to use another one of the globes that i punched out it says young wild and free and it's the hot pink one there. I'm going to glue that right on top of the photo there because I have some open space. And that pretty much describes my child perfectly because she is young and wild and free. And it's kind of hard to tell here, but her, fo her, uh, her photo, her swimsuit matches the pink here in this uh, collection. It's hard to see because, you know, I had to brighten the photo up a little bit. But it's also got circles on it. It's got a, basically, it's just like a darker blue swimsuit with the purpley pink dots all over it. And so I thought, well, she's got on a dotted swimsuit. The circles kind of echo that. And that's kind of what, how that worked out. But um, 
yeah, I'm adding more stickers. This is a sticker from the Horizon sticker sheet. Again, I trimmed off the white edge to kind of, uh, since nothing else really has a white edge around it, I just kind of wanted to trim that off. And then I'm adding in a couple of the die cut leaves. Um, on the circles down below, I did add some stickers um, that coordinated with the color. Like a, I had a blue one on top of the blue circle and a green one on top of the green one. So some of those are from the sticker sheet. And I think one of them is from the epoxy stickers. For my thread, I'm going to tie in some darker blue because I feel like I need a little pop of something dark right there in that little corner. So I'm going to add that in right there. And I love how that just brings in a pop of that dark color. I feel like I needed that right there. And I did have some, or I did add some adhesive foam under my photo. I usually do that just to give it a little bit of dimension. And I felt like I needed something above the photo, so I'm going to tuck in a couple more circles just to break up that big chunk of blue up there. And then after I glued this little flower down, I decided I wanted some thread under that. So I kind of pried that up a little bit and tucked that thread under there. Make sure everything is glued down now because it's still kind of loose. Yeah, every time she throws ice and she does her hands like that, she also makes a sound. She goes, ooh, it's so funny. <laughs> it, it's, it's funny. You have to know her to, uh, <laughs> to love her. She's so funny. Oh my goodness. Memories. These pictures make me laugh. She does the funniest, strangest things. If you don't know about my children, they both are autistic and nonverbal, and so I never know what they're going to do. And most of the things they do are very strange to people who don't know them, um, but they're so funny. They don't even know that they're funny. But yeah, this is just one of her little goofy things that she does, and we get a kick out of watching her throw the ice and make her ooh sound. So these alphas are the only thing that is not from Horizon. These are from Pick Me Up, a couple of collections ago, and they're perfect color and size. They're foam mini thickers, and they're navy blue, and they go perfect with this collection, uh, the, the darker blue color here, and then I'm going to mix and match it with that chipboard adventure piece. And this is just going to be called Ice Tossing Adventure because that's what she's doing and I wanted to use that word adventure because it was the perfect color I love the font of it and it kept coming loose on my sticker sheet and I didn't want to lose it so I thought this is the perfect layout to use it on and how can I mix and match and make that part of my title so that's why I did that I did smudge a little white gesso behind the photo uh, just to lighten it up a little bit I really didn't need to do that the more I did it the more I thought eh, I didn't really need to do that because I'm not going to add any other mixed media behind it but that's okay I am going to do this here though this is white acrylic paint I love white splatters on on darker pattern papers so I just watered it down, splattered it down, and then this is Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I already had a little bit of gold going on in a couple places, and so I had to add that in there. Always keep that on my desk. And make sure those circles are glued down up at the top. I almost forgot to glue those down. And then I'm going to add in my lines for journaling. I always like to use my T-square ruler. I get questions a lot about that. I got that at joann.com. And it's only, I think, $3.50. It's very cheap. Love that thing. Last thing I'm going to do is add my journaling, and that is it. That's the final layout. And even though this turned out completely different than I at first imagined, I love how it came together. Uh, it, it's a fun page. I'm so glad that I used some of the washi tapes, and I love all the colors. Um, yeah, the florals, the circles. So, yeah. You don't have to use those globes as actual globes. You can also use them as circles. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, this is a fun color scheme to go with here. There you can see the circles on her swimsuit. Perfect for this. So let me know if you have any questions about the techniques or the products or anything at all. And I will definitely get back to you. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in my next video.